Hello, everybody. My name is Wilder Ponte, and I'm a current student on Miami Day College on the class 1045 chemistry with Professor Maria Monson. And today I want to talk about abnormal combustion in aircraft reciprocating engines. I'm going to focus on detonation and pre-ignition. So why I'm interested on in abnormal combustion? I'm a flight instructor. I teach in ADF Flight School that is located in Kendalta, Miami Airport at the southwest of Miami. And my job is to teach student pilots about the different topics in aviation, part of their training. One of the topics that I teach is aircraft systems. And inside aircraft systems, we have to talk about the engine. The engine that we use on general aviation is a, a reciprocating engine. The reciprocating engine will have some problems where the combustion is not okay due to overheating or um, carbons on the spark plugs. This will be considered inside the abnormal combustions. These um, abnormal combustions usually are pre-ignition and detonation. The consequences of abnormal combustion like pre-ignition and detonation could cause carbon on the spark plugs that destroy of the piston and the cylinder, the bend of the rods that connect to the crankshaft or the destroy of the engine. These scenarios will lead to an emergency that in some times uh, finalizing a fatality. Pregnition is one of the abnormal combustions and this will occur because of carbons in the cylinder and in the spark plugs. What will happen is that the piston that will move inside the cylinder will um, touch the carbon and will ignite it. We ignite it with the fuel and air that is gonna be inside the cylinder. This will create an unbalanced force inside the engine that will uh, um, cause a loss of RPMs and also backfires that will lead to damage on the pistons, damage on the cylinder, and uh, shock damage around the, uh, the piston. The other type of abnormal combustion is detonation. And detonation is characterized by a high cylinder head temperatures. It most likely occur when they're operating at high power settings. What this mean? That instead the fuel of burn normally, it will explode and this will create an also unbalanced forces inside the engine that could damage completely the engine. The common causes are going to be because of low uh, rate of fuel, high power settings, will in mixture, extended ground operations where, um, or climbing without cooling because the engine is going to get overheated and the fuel will not tolerate this overheat and will start exploding and also overheated engine. To understand abnormal combustion, we need to understand what is combustion. And combustion is an exothermic redox chemical reaction between fuel and an oxidant. In the case of the engine, the fuel will be the obtained, the oxygen is in the air, and the ignition source, uh, the spark, will be the spark plug. So the, this combustion will happen inside the cylinder between the oxygen and the fuel. The oxygen and the fuel, the combination will call mixture. And this mixture has to have an appropriate amount of fuel and oxygen. So the best um, ratio of fuel and oxygen will be 16 of air and one of fuel. When we have too much air, we will call it that the mixture it will be too lean. And when we have too much, um, too much fuel, that means that we have less air, we will call it that it's going to be too rich. 
If we go deep in the combustion, we will find that there's two types of combustion, the incomplete and incomplete combustion. The complete combustion will happen when all the fuel has been burned. So we have a hydrocarbon that is the fuel mixed with oxygen. Then we have the combustion, the spark, and we have water and carbon dioxide. The flame see it on a complete combustion will be blue. On an incomplete combustion, we will have residues. So we have the fuel uh, combined by the oxygen, the combustion process, and then we have uh, carbon dioxide and burned hydrocarbons, some uh, black smoke particles that uh, are carbons, carbon monoxide and nitrous oxides, that these, uh, uh, some of them are toxic gases. All right, so let's go in deep of chemical combustion of fuel. In the chemical combustion of fuel, uh, talking about the octane, we're gonna have a complete combustion and the result will be 16 moles of carbon dioxide, 18 moles of water, an incomplete combustion of fuel, we're gonna have 16 of carbon dioxide, 54 of water, 16 of carbon monoxide, and 16 of carbon. These two last products are gonna be undesired um, and desired in the combustion. So the carbon monoxide will be a toxic gas and the carbons will accumulate inside the cylinder and in the spark plugs and in some point could cause the pregnition. Also, another thing good to mention is that actual cars and aircraft works with a high compression inside the cylinder and the fuel uh, needs to be able to hold this compression and to work under this compression. So that's why uh, the, um, the fuel is mixed with another compounds or with another elements like lead that these elements are gonna call anti-knock elements that will allow the formula of fuel to be more stable. In aircraft, like cars, we're gonna have different types of fuel. The fuel that we use goes from the aft gas 80 to the aft gas 100, that means low lead. And it's gonna have different colors, the aft gas 80, is red, the AFCAS 100 is green, and the 100 LL is going to be blue. The jet fuel have a different formula um, and it works in turbines. These other three are going to work for reciprocating engines, that that's the one that we're talking today. My objective with this presentation was to give a chemical perspective to a normal combustion specify on pregnition and detonation. Pregnition happens uh, due to the carbons accumulated on the cylinders because of an incomplete combustion. And this incomplete combustion happens because of an inappropriate fuel and air ratio. Also, um, we're gonna have detonation. And detonation happens to a non-controlled explosion of fuel and this uncontrolled uh, explosion of fuel will happen because the fuel became unstable under higher temperatures or when we use lower grade than the appropriate. I hope that I let myself explain well and uh, thank you for your attention.